The Femuru Model 37M was adopted by the Hungarian military just before World War II. And the Hungarians, of course, ended up allied with the Germans. That's why they're Nazi-marked Hungarian pistols. The Hungarian FEG pistol, also known as the M37, was really a design by Fromer of an earlier 1929 design. Fimaru 37, or Fromer 37, Fromer being the, the name of the designer, was another one of these uh, Browning-inspired, in this case, blowback, fixed barrel, uh, slide actuated uh, firearms. It is uh, distinguished uh, by wooden stocks that look like a vertical half of a checkering job. The Hungarian version was in 380. Uh, one of the noticeable features of it, uh, like the Beretta, it has a hook to hold the little finger on the grip. The Germans, they were opportunistic. They didn't mind using someone else's guns if it was a good gun. And certainly uh, the 37 was a very, very good gun. Initially, the Germans uh, contracted for about 85,000 guns, but they wanted them in 32 ACP. Now, the Hungarian service pistol had a grip safety and no manual safety whatsoever. Uh, the Germans thought manual safeties were a good idea, so they insisted upon it. People don't think that guns have nationalities, but they do. You can, uh, you can look at a gun, and even if you don't know where it was made, if you know enough about the features and where they came from, you can, you can almost geographically pin it down. And the Austro-Hungarian Empire, th these people were off, uh, they were doing loony things from time to time, and, and it shows in the guns. Uh, the femuru looks strange, yet it's perfectly Beautifully made, there are no, 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 no flies on the construction. Uh, it was nicely made, it works, it just looks a little goofy. The Femuru model 1937 was the official pistol of the Hungarian army, uh, adopted in 1937. Uh, it was designed by the great Hungarian designer Ernst Romer, and it, the pistol was adopted one year after his death. Uh, it was similar in many ways to his earlier gun, the 1929, uh, but this gun was chambered in 380 or, or 9 millimeter short, as they called it. It was a blowback operated pistol, very well made, and it was made uh, by FEG. As with most guns in this era, uh, the sights are very rudimentary, and typically, especially the Hungarian guns, have very nice finish on them. Uh, there is a heel mounted magazine release, and of course, a pistol langer. The variant that was made for the Germans during World War II does have an external safety on it. It was a very robust pistol, and there were probably about 150 to 300,000 of them made for the Germans during World War II. The Germans called their guns the Pistol uh, Model 37, and then uh, parentheses, UNG, and parentheses and there was a contractor code for all German uh, arms and ordnance, and for the FEG made 37s, it's JHV. The gun had several features that made it uh, reliable. It was a blowback gun, fixed barrel. The Frommer was serviceable. It was uh, one that still turns up today. It is a reasonably well-made, uh, good functioning pistol. The Femuru pistols are really from another era. For their caliber, they're quite heavy and really a lot of fun to shoot. Anyhow, that's all the time that we have for this week. If you like the show and you're not an NRA member, you need to join right now. Go to AmericanRifleman.org. I'm Mark Keefe, and I'll see you next week right here on American Rifleman Television.